Now this is a video I've been meaning to make for a while now and it came to my attention even more so after watching Star Wars Resistance. Many people defend this show with the argument that it's for kids. On the surface that seems like a fine argument, cartoons are generally targeted to people of a young age, but that doesn't mean poor writing and storytelling can be forgiven because the target audience are kids. There are plenty of films and series out there which come off as aimed at kids but appeal to everyone. It's the quality of the product which determines when this argument, or as I would prefer to say, excuse, is used. If an adult watches Toy Story, The Incredibles, The Iron Giant, or even Shrek, they can enjoy it because they are well-made films with good, if not great direction and writing. If a kid watches these same shows, they'll enjoy them just as much. I typed kids films into the Google search bar and it came up with a list of films which based on reviews and social conversations, adults will also enjoy. The film rating system even has its lowest rating as G for general. This implies that the film is for people of all ages. For the most part, it regards family friendly films. Sadly, many people have taken this as the films being meant for kids and can be of a low quality as a result. Going beyond films, there are plenty of series out there which families watch together, which both parents and young children enjoy. These include Star Wars The Clone Wars, Avatar The Last Airbender, Phineas and Ferb, Scooby Doo, Looney Tunes and more. Shows and films made for children, and I say that with quotation marks, are regarded as being of a lower quality just to justify its mistakes. If a character is loud, annoying and unlikable, it's fine because it's for kids. To say this diminishes the quality of the filmmakers out there that truly put an effort into their craft. To use this as an excuse to deter the creative creators from putting much of an effort into entertaining and influencing the next generation. It's to say that no film or series can be truly criticized as a creator can always use the excuse that they made it for children. What is possibly the most famous series since the early 2000s which best appeals to a person of any age is Avatar The Last Airbender. Its emotional story, entertaining characters, and eye-catching action all culminate into a near-perfect series. Yet some may refer to this as a kid's show, but its quality excels far beyond those that use It's a Kid's Show as an excuse for its poor quality. It holds a 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes and a 9.2 on IMDb. Let's compare it to the show which made me write this, Star Wars Resistance. Star Wars Resistance features an annoying and unlikable main protagonist, with almost every episode feeling mostly like filler, which doesn't drive the main plot along. It has a 92% rating on Rotten Tomatoes and a 4.7 on IMDb. While being visually appealing, the core substance is lacking in its writing, yet people say it's for kids and give it a pass. Now, I'm not saying trust the critics or trust the audience members' ratings, but consider both. As a creator myself, I could use this excuse and make a terrible movie and say it's bad but for kids, so ignore all of its mistakes and give it praise. Looking at a film example, if audience members who saw the 2007 Alvin and the Chipmunks movie gave it a bad rating, according to this argument many use, they are wrong to do so, as it was made for kids. Rotten Tomatoes gives the movie a 28%. IMDb gives it a 5.2 and Metacritic gives it a 39%. Where are all the arguments defending the movie and saying that it's great because it's for kids? Apparently this film should be well regarded because it is for kids. Compare this to a film aimed at kids and families like Toy Story or almost any other Pixar film. Toy Story has an 8.3 on IMDb and a 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Where are all the arguments saying that this movie is for kids? Nowhere. Because it doesn't need that excuse for people to accept the film. The argument that a show or film is for kids and that its flaws must be accepted is utterly unacceptable. From both a filmmaker and audience perspective, using this excuse not only prevents good quality content from being created, but prevents children from experiencing entertaining and yet beneficial shows. Children are not entirely stupid, they can be entertained by shows and films that have a core story and heart in them. 
they don't need over the top scenes, loud obnoxious characters and poorly written jokes to keep themselves entertained, and neither does the media industry, so stop using this excuse. It's for kids is no argument at all.